My name is Christoph Fry, and I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. This is Brewster County, Texas. Brewster County, which is the size of Delaware, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. It has a population of 9,000 people, 6,000 of which went, live in the main city of Alpine. Our plan is to go from Alpine through the desert to Terlegua, exploring the big city in the county, the desert, and a smaller community on the outside, while being able to get a scope of the entire county. Uh, we're just gonna do a little stroll of Alpine, check it out. I mean, this is kind of the town center. That's the Brewster County Courthouse. So that's the courthouse for the whole county. Um, I mean, yeah. Let's just walk around Alpine, check everything out. Check out the city, see what uh, history and stuff it has to offer, see what we can learn. Then we'll head out into the desert and go towards, uh, go towards Terlingua. Wait, you said <laughs> it was erected in 1887? Uh, erected in 1887 when Brewster County was created. Served, uh, served uh, Bushel and, and Foley, Foley counties County. until these areas were added to the Brewster County Courthouse Square. Still is community center for various events. So 1887. Dang, dude, that's really old. It wasn't like rebuilt or anything? That's pretty old for a courthouse around here. Let's see if... Uh, Open Monday through Friday. No. Yeah, it's not Monday through Friday. Dang, it's closed here. I'm going to see if we can't peer in a little bit. 1887. Ah, oh, dang, dude. I've never run into this issue before. It's very, like, like flat, isn't it? Like, yes, and no, it's, like, very flat to the town, but then it's very hilly. Like, surrounding it. Yeah, but, like, every building, like... What's the tallest building you think you think you've seen since you've been here? Probably the courthouse. Probably the courthouse, right? And it's what? Three stories? Two stories? Two and a half. It's very like like the town is very like spread out. You know, but it's it's cool you get like cuz I've seen a lot of like this artwork and stuff since we've been here. Like every Every building, I don't know if you've noticed this, has kind of had like murals and stuff on it. Yeah, look at that. Now we're gonna try the Holland Hotel. Historic Alpine, a Texas Main Street city. I'll say. This is nice. All right, let's give it a shot. Whoa, hello. This is gorgeous. Holland Hotel building. Vacant for several years, the building was deteriorated badly. In 1973, it was purchased by Gene Hendricks, and extensive repairs were made, including restoration of Spanish architecture. Converted into an office building, the Holland Hotel building again became an asset to the area. I want to check out the other side of the, the uh, railroad. Yeah? yeah? All right, let's go check it out. So it looks like to me, right? <laughs> And maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like there's this old colonial church up there. So I definitely want to check that out. Where? Like, hold on. I was just showing the railroad tracks really quick. But right up there, see like the... Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It is Sunday. So there's probably church services happening. You know? But it's... Well, we should still we should still check stuff out. It very much seems like a railroad stop town, doesn't it? Yeah. Hotel Hotel Richie. Hey, it's got a historical marker on it. Got to read those. I like this look. This is like some some cowboy shit where you just step up on the thing. <laughs> Steps. Ritchie Hotel, 1886, frame and adobe, built facing old cattle loading pens on the Southern Pacific Railway. So, old cattle loading pens, which would probably be like, they probably would have been over there. <gasps> Dude, there's a plaque over there too. Wow. <laughs> We're running down a mystery right now. 
Lodgings and saloon for cowhands and ranchers in town to ship cattle from widely scattered ranches of the Big Bend country. So it's for uh, cowhands and ranchers here. Oh, dude, look at this. I don't know, like, no, I don't. But it looks fucking cool. Dang, man. Did you look inside there? Oh, it literally looks like a old saloon. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. All right, let's go check out this plaque. We're on a, we're on a hunt now. We're on a Alpine Murphy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, can we get a? That's the one on the Hotel Ritchie, right? Which is what we were just at. 1886. It was built. Segregated by the track. For most of Alpine's history, the tr town was strictly se segregated with Hispanic residents confined to the area south of the railroad tracks. Those who ventured north of the tracks were expected to carry their U.S. identification cards and were unwelcome after dark. Because of this division, Murphy Street served as an important business district for Southside residents and the only part of Al Alpine that was racially, racially integrated. So Southside uh, is this side. Yeah, so all the Hispanic residents lived on this side. And then everybody else lived over there, where we just came from. Not a good look, Alphonse. <laughs> Dude, now that, that is a church. What? Oh, what is this? Site of the first Roman Catholic church in Alpine. Dedicated by the Diocese of San Antonio in 1896 by father and son Daniel and Thomas L. Murphy. Hey, those are the ones that found the town. What's this over here? I love this like architecture, like this cobblestone. This grotto is dedicated to Our Lady Queen of Peace by the parishioners of this church as a token of their devotion and as a hopeful prayer for the conversion of Russia. October 16th, 1949. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That took a turn there at the end. I was, not ex I was not expecting that one. Our Lady of Peace Parish Hall, site of the oldest church building in Alpine, originally called Our Lady of Guadalupe Church, completed in 1892 and in continuous use as a church until 1942, and as a parish hall until 1964. What's a parish hall? I don't know. Oldest church building in Alpine, 1892. Okay, there was like literally a security guard standing right there. <laughs> so I just I just bailed out of the whole the whole endeavor. Oh man, I wish we could see inside. Yeah, it's an old movie theater. Probably can't go in though, right? What would our luck be if we could go in? Again, the amount of buildings we just <laughs> peer straight. Oh, and it looks so cool. Damn it. Can, can we at least find out how old this building is? Will it, does it have a plaque? There has to be like, was there an Alpine Visitor Center? Tourist Info Center. Did I just make that sign happen? <laughs> did I manifest that? Yes, yes you did. We need to go to this tourist info center. I'm sure they will have information on tourist stuff. Are they open? What are the odds that they're open? <laughs> well, the giant closed side. Oh. Hey, wait, 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 wait. But it looks like there's pamphlets you can just grab. Uh, Brewster County. Okay, so we're going to grab one of these. Oh, you got a big one. Dude, these are hard to pull out with one hand. It's like its own mini game. Okay. All right, so that's one. An Alpine historic walking and windshield. It tells you about windshields. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look. 
But it doesn't have them labeled, does it? Oh, it does. Look at this. These are all the spots. Our numbers? Here. All the numbers. Oh, hey. We got to the bottom of it. We found the numbers. Okay. I'll find historic walking tour. So that one is the railroad. Mm -hmm. Richie Hotel. Alpine Studio. All right. Well, let's go walk, and if we find if we find another one, then we have a little guide to it. Oh, that church is in service because it's ringing. I've actually seen a lot of churches since we've been here, because there's another one over there. So there's oh, at least circle number tw uh, twenty-eight. Oh. Like shit. Chock full of history here in Alpine. This is a very different kind of building than is in the rest of the town. It's like woodwork. 1893, the oldest, oldest public school building standing in Alpine. Abandoned at school in 1910. Later served as hospital, college, and, uh, dormitory, border patrol, dormitory, border patrol station, and U.S. Agriculture and Soil Conservation Service. I won't. I won't lie to you, Kevin. It looks insanely creepy in there. <laughs> it's just a, a blank hallway. It's really updated a lot. It's locked. I already tried. <laughs> it's, but, but it was, it's it's been a church. It was school. Uh, where, where else? As a hospital, a college dormitory, board border patrol station. Agriculture and soil conservation service. Like that's well if we can't go in these buildings, we can at least walk around the outside and see. <laughs> There's just a ton of boxes of papers in them. <gasps> yeah, this one's very dilapidated. First Baptist Church of Alpine. When the railroad came through the area in 1882, the settlement of Osborne was established here near Natural Springs. The commune's name changed to Murphysville in 1883. At that time, as the population began to grow, missionaries arrived from numerous denominations, including among them was the noted Reverend George W. Baines in, Baines. <laughs> in 1883. He held what was reportedly the first Protestant meeting in the community which became known as Alpine in 1888. Alpine's uh, post office until September yeah. 2000, built in 1939. Is 1939. WPA, uh, ar architecture. The inside remain, uh, retains... For what kind of architecture? WPA. WPA. Architecture. The inside remains the most of its original features, including the mural. Oh, of uh, course the inside does. Okay. Wait. Monday through Friday. Close. Saturday and Sunday. Fuck. Yeah, but fuck. Dude, come on, man. Please use... We're just going to peer. We're going to look. We're going to peer. Ah, I hate that everything is closed. Good thing I didn't drink. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if this thing can see in there. Dang, dude. Hold on. So, you said the... The interior was the most like its original state. And that mural. What mural? The mural up there. Oh, the one way over there? Okay, so we just went through Alpine and looked at everything and got some history. Tons of history. And now we're gonna head uh, deep deep into the desert. The on desert we way, come. On our way to Terlingua, the Chihuahuan Desert. That's where we're gonna go. I think it's the third or fourth largest desert in North America. So, bam. All right, cool. But. We're going to Terlingua, which is about an hour and a half from Alpine. So Alpine's the only city. Terlingua's like an outlying community. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go. to uh, Terlingua and there is there is nothing out here I like these mesas here how they like 
ascend in height. Yeah, so Terlingua is this way. Alpine is back that way. We just came out of the mountains here and are going towards Terlingua. We got a roadside plaque here. Kevin saw it like a eagle-eyed hawk. History Apache. Big Ben snapshot. An Apache war club. That looks cool. Oh, I guess this is where the Apache lived out here. Dang, what a wide open space for them. The first record of Apaches in Big Bend is a 1683 appeal by La Junta Jumanos to Spanish authorities for protection from their raids. By 1750, however, most Jumanos had absorbed or dispersed by Apaches. Comanches drove the Apaches into western Texas and northern Mexico by 1740. They stole the Apaches' livestock, took women and children captive, and fought them for the next 100 years. In 1779, Spanish forces attacked Apaches on the northern frontier, and by 1789 defeated the last Apache band in the Chizos Mountains. In 1810, the Spanish were forced to withdraw from the northern frontier during the Mexico War of Independence. Freedom from Spain in 1821 left the Mexican government unable to defend the frontier, and Apache raids resumed. Dang, dude. It's cool that this plaque is just like out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, like literally nowhere. All right, let's hit the road again. here i'll walk over there and show that in a second uh it, we're 76 miles from alpine where we started and there's mountain over there there's mountains over there it's definitely gotten more mountainous like the more south we've gone here in uh in the county but where is the where is the ghost town part of this experience <laughs> is is my is my question Because to me, right now, <laughs> isn't much of a town. Yeah, and there's people here, so that means it's not a, a ghost town, Terlingua ghost town. So I guess it's that way. I guess so. Okay, so we're gonna go this way and see if we can't find it. Because I got a sign here that says Terlingua ghost town. Yeah, let's just roam and see what we find. I'm not 100% sure where the ghost part of the ghost. Well, hey, look, so I'm looking at a church, like, way the hell out there, <laughs> right? I really don't want to walk all the way out there. Okay, we're just going to walk and see what we come across, all right? Walking's good. We're on a hike now. <laughs> it's so windy. <laughs> oh, this must be the ghost town over here. Yeah, all these torn down ones. Oh, this is a cemetery. Terlingua Cemetery, 
basically this was a huge mercury mine area like so big they, they pulled over 76,000 pounds of refined mercury in this area um, that just became a huge mining town Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a there's like a really wonderful serenity out in this desert, you know. Or it's just like things have been claimed by time, you know, and they're just kind of they're just kind of becoming, you know, back part of the rock. What year these were built? My best guess is like early 1900s. I don't know. Do they use? I don't know if that sh that like uh, that like um, metal uh, sheets. Those metal sheets would still be here if it was the 1900s. Well, I think those early were probably not here. Oh. Well, the, no, because they look like they were like they were hanging from the roof and stuff. So someone was obviously using the house as like, like they use those as a roof at some point. But like the, the thing was probably built like early late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Oh, and someone someone came in and tried to refurbish it. Yeah. Re refurbish it. <laughs> <laughs> they just put like a shitty roof on it, and they're like, "Well, I guess this is my house now. Good enough now." Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the plan is to go to the top of this uh, little hill here. Oh, look, there's somebody up there, so we're not the only ones. Hey, do you see the teepees up there? Barely. Oh, oh yeah, I do. The white teepees. Huh. It is so windy on this hill. That's Mexico. All the way over there, in the mountains there, is Mexico. Oh, dude, this church. Dang, dude. There's fresh books there. What? Worship hymnals. I like that it's just open for anyone to come in. That's how a church should be, is open for anyone to just come in. Spooky. <laughs> I know it's the wind, but. Huh? Oh, I bet this is for the bell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull it. Goes up somewhere. Yeah, there's gotta be a, a thing for the bell somewhere. I wonder what year these were taken. I know. It doesn't sound. I'm gonna guess like the. 
1900. I'm assuming there's not like a cornerstone or something on this church. It doesn't no, really seem like so. doesn't really seem like the type of structure. I wonder what this was. It does seem really big for a house. Especially if those other things were houses. Yeah. This does not seem like it would be a house. Let's open the front door. Back and see if someone's home. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Oh. I bet this place was really nice when it was like... Hey, wait. E R Supermarket? Maybe? My guess would be either supermarket, hotel, or school. Uh, P E R. Well, P E R is the last word in super, right? Or the last part of super. I don't know. Why would it be? this metal be in here? So that's where we went through Brewster County today. We traveled the luxurious Brewster County. Alpine, then into the desert, then now uh, finishing up here at Terlingua. Uh, what was your favorite part, Kevin? Oh, that's a hard one. I don't know. I think maybe driving through the... I feel like a little bit of each part was great because yeah. like while we're in Alpine and everything was great and then the desert was awesome and then coming out here and to the abandoned ghost town it's pretty pretty cool. My favorite part was the um, the church. Which church? <laughs> Up on the hill. Oh, uh, here? Yeah, that we just got the one we got to go into. <laughs> that or the chili. <laughs> you and that chili. Or the, uh, I'm trying to think of another CH. Cheezos. Cheezos mine. <laughs> All of these were my favorite things. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along with us to Brewster County and exploring this, this large swath of land in West Texas.